dirty old. Playing around with the T Rex four bills of your eh? Freaking right, I am. Well, boys and girls, peoples, I uh playing around with the T Rex four, eh? Freaking right, I am. And uh, I did a few little mods of my own. Freaking right. Why wouldn't I do a few mods of my own? I like doing mods of my own. Just made a freaking mess in here. I did doing some mods of my own. Freaking right, I did. Why wouldn't I, right, babe? Right. Why the hell wouldn't I? So, what I did, boys, was... I wanted to add some more weight to the front and to the back of the T-Rex 4 as low as possible without buying the brass fittings and stuff like that because I don't like paying for stuff like that. Why would I? So what I did was I took a piece of steel. Piece of steel. Drilled a few round holes in her and I heat shrunk it. That weighs a lot, boys. What I made that for is you can slide it over the bumper skids like this. Right. And then you can put it on the front bumper, boys. And that adds some serious friggin' weight to the front end, it does. Friggin' right. So that will stop it from falling, it will. Hey, are you watching this? Probably not. See, so you put the old screws back in like this. Decent. And you put this screw in like this. Decent. And look at that, boys. Extra front bumper weight, eh? And it's low, so it helps with the tipping. Friggin' right it does. So you did that at the front. The only thing is you have to remove the fake doodad. You have to remove the fake doodad. The winchy, eh? Unless you have a real winchy, then you might not be able to do this. But hey, who knows? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You don't know until you know. You don't. So I did that to the front. These are just simple mods at home if you don't want to spend any money like me. And you can fabricate like me. Friggin' right. So I did that. And the back bumper... I siliconed in another piece of metal into the back bumper, boys. So when you put the bumper on, holy, that works decent, boys. See? Metal, heavy, in the hole, hangs low, helps with the downforce, it does. Friggin' right, it does. So we'll put that back in, and uh, the old T-Rex 4 weighs a little bit more now, it does, near the bottom part, eh? So if you guys are into crawling and this and that, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but hey, you gotta try it. Doesn't cost anything to try it, boys. So there we go. We got front and rear bumper weighted. And I'll tell you right now, that's definitely gonna friggin' help, boys. Big time. Like look at look at the tip factor on it now. Like even right right about there, boys. So that's a pretty good angle, the dangle it is. Friggin' right it is. So hopefully this helps with the crawl, eh? Friggin' right it should. But uh, what else you need to do? What else I did? I shouldn't say, what else I need to do? I always need to do something, don't I? Friggin' right I do. What else I did was, it has that light kit. That you gotta put on that mod and you gotta put it in all this stuff and that stuff and this stuff. Well, what happened was the plug, the plug fell off and I ran over and pulled it out, I did. So what I ended up doing is I mounted a nine volt battery in the front of the doodad with velcro okay so you just plug her in boys and the lights come on and you velcro her in look at that decent eh and now it helps with the front weight even more because it's down low off the roof freaking right so i did that too why wouldn't i eh? why the hell wouldn't i it's freaking decent boys so there you go modded bill of eh? freaking right it is one other thing you want to do too is when you build that mount bracket on the front like i did with the metal you gotta notch the body a little bit around the grill ski, eh? And you'll see why here once I put the body on. Freaking right you will. Why wouldn't you? Beep beep. Freaking right they did. Oh boys, that's freaking decent. So look at the fitment of that, boys. Hey, look at how she just fits right in the grill like it was made to be there. And I'm telling you right now, boys, that thing's got some freaking weight to her now. Freaking right it does. No more top heaviness, boys. Might have to tweak the shocks up a little bit. Might have to give the shocks a couple little turn skis. Definitely got a little bit more weight near the bottom she does. So I'm looking forward to trying this out for sure. It won't be right now because I don't feel like I'm drinking a coffee and having a good day here I am. But there you go, boys. Holy. That thing's got some serious weight. Look at her, boys. Hey, what's really going on in here? What is that? Something's cocking over my body, boys. Holy. Wait, wait. All I can say, boys, is holy, eh? Holy. Get in there, you son of a beaver. Freaking battery connections hanging out and everything else. What's really going on? Freaks apes. Oh, I'll fix that in a minute. Freaking right, I will. But look at the lean, boys. Holy. Right about, look at that, boys. I can almost, it balances right about in the middle, she does. 
before, if I got to about there, she'd tip. Not anymore. The back, the front weight. Oh my God, boys. Holy, I think this thing could go on an angle like that right now. Freaking right it could. That's freaking decent. It's almost at the axle, boys. So she's gonna be freaking mint. So if you're into rock crawling, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If that was a good idea or not, or if it's cheating or whatever it is, eh boys? So make sure you're, like I said, you leave your comment below and tell me what you think of that and let me know if it's a good idea or not or if I just dicking over my time, eh? Why wouldn't you? But make sure you subscribe and like, hit that notification bell bar button, and uh, yeah, why wouldn't you, right? Why the hell wouldn't you? But I just wanted to show off that little bit of a mod because that's the way I roll, boys. Freaking right in. One other thing I did too last night that I forgot to tell you. <laughs> it's good old Kevin there. He watched my video he did when I took out the servo on the old rock crawl eh? So this one is a Metal Gear, boys. It's a 2075X, eh? So. Kevin threw me over a video he did on how to fix these. What it is, is there's a little circuit tree on this side of it, inside that blows. So if you solder it and put a little wire in there, it works again. Friggin' right it did, and it worked too, boys. But she works again, she does. So I'll make sure I throw that link below for that how to fix it thing. And thanks, Kevin, for sending that. And thanks, Pat, for finding it, eh? Decent, bud. Friggin' right. Kevin's buddy, Pat, found the, found the link he did. Friggin' right he did. But make sure you go over there and check out Kevin's channel too. Why wouldn't you? Eh? I'll put the link below for that too. So now I got one, two, three, four links, boys. I gotta put four links below now for freak sakes. But uh, check that out. Works good. It's freaking decent. And uh, appreciate it big time because now I don't have to buy another servo. And I think I threw out how many, I don't know how many servos over that. And now there's an easy way to fix them there. So, so, so that's the way she goes. Hey. And don't worry, boys. The video's coming up for the giveaway on the lights. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a pair. They're out of stock right now. So give me another five days or so. I promise I'm going to do that giveaway. I'm just waiting for them to get in stock. There's no sense in giving away something that's not in stock. And they told me it will be in stock within the next couple weeks. So I don't want to send you mine. I want to send you a brand new pair never open, boys. Friggin' right I do. Why wouldn't I? So you're just going to have to hang tight for that. And we'll get that going. For sure we will. Why wouldn't we? Right? I got to find a stud for the old doodad today. There's a few little things I gotta do today. I gotta clean up this bench because it's a, just a mess. Freaking right it is. I don't know if I'm gonna like this bench in the summertime, boys. This this fireproof matting. It's hard on the old arms it is, eh? Because it's got uh, fiberglass in it. So every time you put your arms on the bench, you get pokey, eh? Hey? That's no freaking good. Pokey, you old dokey. Freaking right. Why wouldn't we? But uh, anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there too. Why wouldn't I? Hopefully everybody's having a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do or is doing stuff I'm doing. Like fixing your T-Rex 4 if you're an RC guy. Or changing out, move, removing your fiberglass doodad from your bench like I am. Or finding a stud muffin for your doodad McFlopper thing like I am. But if you're not, then hey, have a good day. Why wouldn't you? We'll talk to you later and uh, you know what to do for now. I got my